Hey, Tiger Lily Squad, what's poppin'? 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 What's? Who is this girl? Her hair is retwisted. Like, you can see her roots, sis. What? Who is she? Where is she? Like, who? Who? It's me. It's Shay. It's me. Um, this is episode two of Get My Locks Back to Its Glory. And we are finally here with a retwist, sis. I also showed you a little bit of the process, not really, but I showed you where I was. Um, so I'm just going to have a little bit of a conversation. So you guys know, if you've been following me for a while, um, before we get anything started, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on all your post notification bells. And follow me on all social media platforms at Essence of Shea, especially Instagram. Follow me there. Um, but as I was saying is that you guys know that I had a bad experience with a hair salon uh, when I first started my log journey. Hence why I had decided that I was not going to go to hair salons anymore. I was not gonna have nobody all up and through my hair. For the most part, I was gonna do my hair myself. Um, my good, good friend, Casey, she does locks out of her home because she has locks herself. She's had it for a very long time. Hers is like almost hitting her knee, I wanna say. Um, so I trusted Casey, I met her a while ago at a fashion show. So just off of her energy, I was like, yo, she's about to do my hair. Nobody else about to do it. Bada bing, bada boom. If I don't feel like doing my hair, right? So um, you guys know that I'm on a journey of getting my hair back to its health, back to its wealth, trying to get it back to its thickness. Um, so with that being said, I felt the need that I needed to at least commit to every six months getting it um retwisted by a professional someone i did my research with somebody who knows about hair not just hair but knows about locks as well um preferably somebody who has locks because i feel like if you have locks you really know about it that doesn't mean that that's not true but that's how i figured it in my head so um with that being said, I went to Locked by Murray. I'm going to put her Instagram here for you guys. Um, the whole time going there, I was nervous. I just, I felt wary because my experience before wasn't a pleasant one. And I just, I, and then my thing too is like, it was 45 minutes away. So my thing is like, if I walk up in there and she she on some other stuff, right? Y'all know I'm real with you. If I walk over there and she on some other stuff, I had to drive. I drove. I just drove 45 minutes for nothing. So I was just like, God, please. I prayed. I said, please don't let this be a waste of time. As soon as I did that, um, I think 1111 came up. So I was like, all right, I'm good. Um, I got to change my mindset. And bada bing so i get there and she's super nice her shop is super cute um and um she has locks um which i never went on her instagram page to like scope out her page but i know a few people who down here who've worked who've had their locks retwisted by her so and they locks look good and they actually got their locks started by her too and their locks look mad good. So I was like, all right, uh, let's give this a shot. Um, so I get there and initially I thought it was $50. So I'm gonna just put a disclaimer out there. That ain't nothing to do with her. That's more so me because I, I didn't read um, it well enough. I just saw $50 for, for before hours and I was just like, yes come through with the come through because the prices that they be having down here just for a wash and retwist be like 125 dollars and 
in New York, I don't remember paying that much, but you know what it is, it is what it is. People got to make their money, but I was just like, nah. So when I saw the $50, I'm like, yes, cool. So she washes my hair. Um, she uses Design Essentials, which everybody knows hair salons, they use that to wash and uh, condition your hair. Um, she said that my hair was washed thoroughly it wasn't even dirty and that's why that's because the day before i had did that acv rinse and if you didn't see that video go watch it i break down like what it's for and da 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 so yeah she said it was clean um uh she also um then we get to the retwist so i had before she started my hair i asked her what was she gonna retwist my hair with because I had brought my flaxseed gel with me just in case if she's going to use something else. I'd be like, nah, I don't, I don't want that in my hair. And I would like to point out that when you're going to get your hair done, no matter if you have locks or not, right? I feel like you should not be afraid to tell them what you want and what you don't want in your hair. Because at the end of the day... Sis, is your hair. Like, you gonna walk out of there with your scalp itching and all kind of stuff or feeling very uncomfortable with your hair and everything that you done paid money for. So don't feel afraid or feel like you're offending somebody. Say it with respect, of course, but stand your ground. Like, don't have no, them putting a bunch of crap in your hair that you don't want in your hair. So when she told me what she was putting in my, her, my hair to retwist it, she said she was using a foam... A foam based water no a water-based foam um which i've never used in my i've seen i've been to salons before with other people and i've seen like foam be used for like putting um curls or wrap arounds or like stuff like um for our curly hair or for permed hair i've never seen it used in locks so i was like can i see um, the ingredients for it and literally it was oil and water literally um, and of course a preservative but that's basically what it was so I was like okay cool and um, the brand that she used was called Mo Lock, More Locks um, I'll put them somewhere here as well um, it's a black owned brand if you guys want to uh, check them out um and she said it gives a media a light to medium hold it doesn't flake and all that stuff so i was like okay cool she retwisted my hair the dreaded part came where i had to sit under the dryer y'all know i hate that crap um but when she when my, when my hair was finished she gave me a little pointers as to how i could help improve my hair so the thing about Mari or uh, Marie, I don't want to say her name wrong, is that she went to cosmetology, cosmetology, cosmetology school and she knows about hair and all that stuff. So if she's giving me some information, I'll respect it and I'll take it in because she's educated in hair in its entirety, you know what I mean? In health, the health of hair. So she told me, I told her that I air dried, I worked out five times a day. Um, I, I usually air dry my hair. I use gel to um, retwist my hair, mainly because my hair just doesn't hold a retwist. Um, my hair just doesn't re-hold a retwist for too much longer. This, we are, I think it's May 24th fourth that i'm recording this video i and that it's monday and i got my hair retwisted on a friday so i'm gonna just show y'all like some of it it's getting a little frizzy um and that has nothing to do with her that's just really and truly that's just my hair um it is what it is but the tips that she gave me is one, of course, when I go work out, which I'm doing already to wrap my edges because the sweat and all that friction and pulling my hair and all that stuff breaks, cause breakage to uh, your edges and cause breakage uh, to your roots 
especially your edges if it's not wrapped which i do anyway so if you guys aren't wrapping your hair i suggest you do that two she told me that because i'm using gel to retwist my hair um i need to go under a dryer to make sure that it dries because that can cause mildew if it's not dried fully within a certain window and that also can cause breakage as well because she said there's a lot of breakage on my roots um which can happen really and truly it can happen from that it could happen when i was trying to free form or semi free form um it could have it could have happened with the products i was using but that's one of the reasons um is what she said but she said other than that my locks were healthy and good now when she said healthy and good i was just like nah sis because my hair in the back is just like thin to me um but she said everything else was copacetic uh with that being said my experience at a hair salon i honestly give it um a nine and the reason why i don't give it a 10 is because the price so i initially thought it was 50 dollars, like i said so i had cash after uh, 60 for a tip and then she was like oh you only sent me 60 so i'm like how much is it and she was like well it's 95 dollars to get washed and retwist and then because you came before um the salon hours which are 12 to 7 i came at 10 it's an additional 50 dollars so that's 130 um that's 130 that you will have to pay that's what she said or something like that so i was like wait what <laughs> so i was like 130 dollars just to get my hair washed and retwisted i mean i didn't say that to her but i did say that in my head i'm just like oh got him like yeah yeah this is exactly why i i did a video before and i was telling y'all that having locks can be expensive especially if you go get it retwisted professionally all the time and you never do it by yourself, my God, like, my God. <laughs> I just thought that was a lot just to get my hair washed and retwisted. Maybe I'm bugging, maybe I'm tripping, but that's just my thing. Um, if you want to pay $130 to get your hair washed and just retwisted and not styled at all, literally how my hair is is how i left um for 130 dollars i thought was a little pricey but she did do a good job so i'm not taking that away from her and that's why i didn't give it a 10 because of the price um but even if i didn't come uh before the hours of operation it's still 95 dollars just for a wash and retwist and this ain't got nothing to do with her i was telling y'all this from a while ago going to a salon almost double the price like triples what you can possibly do by yourself but i i understand if you don't want to do your hair by yourself and i understand if you'd rather someone else to do it because i'm at a point now where i just i ain't got the time <laughs> Like, that why I just be cutting my hair all the time, like, when it hits my butt. Because when shorty gets long, who about to do that all the time? Who? This one? Because she not about to pay that price. I mean, I will still go every, well, try, God's willing. I will go every six months to get it professionally done. But my God, I will go during office hours. Hello! <laughs> um, but anyways, yes that is it for this video uh if you guys enjoyed don't forget to like a comment and subscribe turn on all your post notification bells um if you have any thoughts or any questions leave it in the comment box below um i don't know what that i feel like there's a black spot right here i don't know what a smile line or something 
Meow, meow. Um, yeah. If you guys enjoying the series so far, let me know. See you later. Talk to you lilies. See you. Uh, crash course. Let me hide the money in the dashboard. Max mad, could you lost the brick inside the Porsche? Goofy with the.